It is 536 on your Monday. Let's get to some other top stories we're following for you. Trooper dragged. Georgia State Patrol tells us the search is still on for the suspect who jumped behind the wheel of a car and dragged Trooper Marcus White late Saturday night. GSP saying this all happened along Bill Lucas near Hank Aaron Drive in Atlanta before 9 p.m. They say White stopped a vehicle, detained the driver, and tried talking to the passenger, but that person climbed into the driver's seat and took off. The trooper fell from the side of the car and hit his head on the road. White was taken to the hospital and has since been released. Gas station shooting. Atlanta police say two people were hurt during an attempted robbery. It happened near the busy racetrack gas station in downtown at Piedmont and John Wesley Dobbs on Sunday. Officers say they believe the victims were attacked by several suspects who tried to rob them. That's when one was shot. Another was hurt during the struggle with the suspects. Police have not released any details about the suspects at this time. Honor for their fight for voting rights. Civil rights icons, the late John Lewis, along with C.T. Vivian, Reverend Joseph Lowry, and Bruce Boynton were celebrated Sunday during the 56th anniversary of the Selma Bridge crossing. That day has been coined Bloody Sunday, marking the day in 1965 when African-American marchers were brutally attacked. The commemoration comes as states try to change the way people vote during elections, including right here in Georgia. President Joe Biden signed an executive order yesterday Today, which directs federal agencies to make voting more accessible. This year's Selma Bridge Crossing was held virtually because of the pandemic.